again. So this is the third part of William Shakespeare. So in this video, I am going to share with you all about the Shakespeare's plays in chronological order. So this video is just to give you information about the most important Shakespeare plays as well as their writing year. So it will be useful for you to remember the plays as well as their writing year because it get asked in the examination about the Shakespeare plays as well as the year. So here I start. So the very first uh, well recognized play is the two gentlemen of Verona that has been written in the year. Uh, the time span of the play was 1589 to 1591. Second, the taming of the shrew and the time span was 1590 to 1594. Third, Henry VI, part 2, 1590 to 1591. Fourth, Henry VI, part 3, 1591. Henry VI, part 1st, 1591. And the sixth one is Titus Andronicus. And the time span was 1591 to 1592. Let's move to the next, next slide. So again, uh, after um, the Henry, um, sorry, after the Titus Andronicus, so the play was Richard III, 1592 to 1593, Edward III, 1594, ninth one is the Comedy of Errors, 1594, 10th, Love, Labor, Lost, 1594 to 1595, 11th, Love, Labor, Won, uh, and the time span was 1595 to 1596. So, this play is also very important, though it is not very well recognized, but people get confused. They think that Love, Labor, Lost is the only play written by Shakespeare. But the other name is Love, Labor, Lo or Love, Labor, Won. This is also a play written by William Shakespeare. Though it is not much recognized, so we, ca we uh, cannot be identified that this Love, Labor, Won is written by William Shakespeare. Do remember that. Next one is Richard II that got published in the year 1595. Moving to the next one, the most famous play, Romeo and Juliet, uh, written in the year 1595. After that, A Midsummer Night Dream, 1595. Next, The Life and Death of King John, 1596. After that, The Merchant of Venice, written in the year 1596. 17th, Henry IV, Part 1st. 1596 to 1597, 18th one, The Merry Wives of Windsor, 1597 to 1598, 19th play was Much Ado About Nothing, 1598 to 1599, 20th one was Henry V, 1598 to 1599, 21th was uh, Julius Caesar, that was the greatest play uh, written by Shakespeare, 1599, uh, 22 As You Like It, 1599 to 1600. 23rd was Hamlet. That is also one of the greatest and renowned play of William Shakespeare. And the time span of writing this play was 1599 to 1601. Next one is 12th Night and it got uh, written in the year 1601. Next, moving to the 25th play, Troilus and Cressida, written in the year 1602. Next one is Measure for Measure, 1603 to 1604. 27th one is Othello that got written in the year 1603 to 1604. 28th was King Lear and it got written in the year 1605 to 1606. 29th was Timon of Athens and it was written in the year 1605 to 1606. 30th one is the Macbeth. Macbeth is one of the greatest uh, tragic play of William Shakespeare, right? And it got written in the year 1606. The key fact about the Macbeth play is that Macbeth is the shortest tragedy written by William Shakespeare while as Hamlet was the longest one, right? So moving to the next play, 31 one, is, one was Antony and Cleopatra. It was written in the year 1606. After that, All's Well That Ends Well written in the year 1606 to 1607. After that, Pericles, uh, Prince of Tyre, that is the subtitle got written in the year 1607, after that Coriolanus 1608, 35th one is the Winter's Tale 1609 to 1610, 36th one was Cymbeline that was written in the year 1610 to 1611. So the 37th play was The Tempest written in the year 1610 to 1611. 
and you you all know that uh, Shakespeare has written uh, 37 plays but as you can see in the screen there is written 38 and 39 so these two plays is also written by William Shakespeare but it is written within the collaboration with Fletcher that is why it is not counted in the 37th place if the question is asked that how many plays has been written by William Shakespeare then the answer will be the 37 and including uh, the collaboration with Fletcher then it will be 39 and the name of the play that he had collaborated with Fletcher's are uh, 38th one was Cardenio uh, written in the year 1612 to 1613 with Fletcher and the 39th one was that that is the last one Henry VIII and the other name of that play was All is True 1613 and it is written uh, in the collaboration with Fletcher, John Fletcher. So that's all for today's lecture. So I have just given you an overview of all these Shakespeare's plays, all these Shakespeare's 37th plays that has been uh, written in a chronological order. So it will be helpful to remember the name of the play as well as the date, right? So in the uh, further videos, we are going to learn more other important facts about William Shakespeare works or we will do the detailed version of William Shakespeare text. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for your listening. If you like this lecture, do please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.